Hello Internet, my name is Hazel from Hazel90 Games and this is how I take out Terran Zoo as part of the Celestial Tournament Weekly Scenario. Here's what I use. First, I've got a Ghostly Skull with Death Coil, Ghostly Bite, and Unholy Ascension. I've used an Upgrade Stone in mine to make him rare. Next, I've got a Fossilized Hatchling with Bone Bite, Ancient Blessing, and Bone Storm. And then last, I'm going to use a Creepy Crate with Agony, Death Grip, and more Bone Storm. I have once again used a stone to upgrade that guy to rare. Alright, Mr. Tanzu, it's time to do this. Make sure your ghostly skull is in your top slot. Alright, he's going to start with Yen, which is his most annoying pet, so they're all really annoying. So you're going to open with a ghostly bite, which is hopefully going to do enough damage to Yen in order for him to be switched out and made a backline pet. So there we go, switching it out. And you're immediately going to switch out to your fossilized hatchling. This is the plan. And immediately after that, see, he puts him out. He's in the back line, but it's okay. We can still hit him with Bone Storm. All right, so he's going to hit us. We are going to Bone Storm his balls. There we go. Balls have been Bone Stormed. And you know what you're going to do? You know what you're going to do? You're going to switch out your Creepy Crate. You ready? You ready? Creepy Crate's out. And, and get punched in the face. That's fine. I didn't need that nose. And Bone Storm. More Bone Storm. All right, so you're going to take some damage. You are going to Bone Storm. And that should actually take out... The first pet. It might not take him at the first time, but it's okay because we can actually get a second bone storm off here. And there we go. We have already dealt with one pet and we haven't even died yet. So I'm going to go ahead and agony because that will continue to do dot damage even if he stuns me after this point, which is good. Um, these pets are really annoying. They stun you, they blind you, they switch out, they heal themselves. They're pretty much the worst thing ever. But I'm telling you the strategy, it works. So there we go. We're blinded, but it's okay because we already got the dot up and you know we already bone stormed. That was our whole purpose in life right there. It doesn't really matter what happens now. Um, the other thing is that the undead ratio is going to be working very much in your favor because all of your pets are undead. That's going to bring us back to life for one turn. And you know what that turn's going to let us do? You know? You know? It's going to let us bone storm! Oh, oh, it's not going to happen just yet. That was an climax. There we go. Second bone storm. And dealing damage to the backline pets, which is really key in this fight because he likes switching his pets out to the backline so much. So now that our creepy crate is done, we're going to bring up Fossilized Hatchling who has additional Bone Storm, and he also has Agent Blessing, which is going to help keep his health really high. So make sure you're doing that on cooldown, which is going to help you last a little bit longer against this guy. So we're going to have Ancient Blessing. Um, let's Bone Storm again, why not? You know, I'm liking the Bone Storm. Oh, he blinded my Bone Storm, guys. That's upsetting. That's okay. It's all right, we're going to be blinded for one more round, and then we are going to just go ahead, Bone Bite, do a bunch of damage, and get this all sorted out. There we go. Decent damage, decent damage. Ancient Blessing time again. One more time. He's going to knock me out. I'm going to come right back up. And I will have one more damage move left because of my snazzy undead racial. And, you know, I think I'm feeling the Bone Storm vibe. I'm feeling the Bone Storm vibe. There we go. Additional Bone Storming has been achieved. Last pet's not quite dead, but he's so close. He's so close. All right, Ghostly Skull, you can do this. I have faith in you and your Death Coil. Let's go ahead and, uh... Oh, no. We got stunned. It's okay. Okay, we got this. We got this. We're using all the damage moves now. This is actually going to be a little tight. This usually works out a little bit better than this. If you can get off one more bone storm, it's actually going to kill the backline pet. And then you just have to go sleep bite once. But I don't want to stun myself because I've got one more pet to deal with. There we go. Bolo's down. Lee, I feel like you're not going to make it, Lee. I feel like it's just not going to work out for you. He's healing himself, which is clever. But, you know, I can do that too. I can do that too. And go sleep bite. Go sleep bite. You don't. Oh, oh I told you these guys suck. I told you they suck. There we go. He does some damage, and I do more damage. There we go. We did it. That's it. That's how it's done. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for more pet battle videos on Tuesdays. We will finish the Celestial Tournament. Other just general WoW videos on Thursdays. Other gaming in between. That strategy actually is go usually goes a little bit smoother, but it worked anyways. We did just fine. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!